My name is Bruce Dell, a senior pharmacist here at the Roadrunner Pharmacy. I'd like to take a little time to familiarize you with the mixing process involved in our sterile implantable gel. Many of you have already gone to this type of base over drug impregnated beads. It enables you to create a sterile antibacterial gel that can be applied directly to an infection site. For brevity, we will not be addressing sterile technique in this presentation. Instead, just describing the machinations involved in the process. And this is how the kit comes to you. All the components you need are inside the bag. First, find a clean area away from wind sources and people traffic. Begin by removing the caps from the injectable vials and swab the rubber stoppers with an alcohol pad. Unwrap all the syringes and attach needles to one large one and one small one. Take the 5 ml syringe and withdraw the desired amount from the antibiotic vial and inject it into the paloxymer vial. Mix gently by swirling, but try not to apply a lot of warmth to the vial. Pull back the plunger of one of the larger syringes to the 10 ml mark and inject that air into the paloxymer vial above the liquid level to avoid bubbles. Pull out all of the paloxymer, remove the needle, and connect it to one side of the red lure-to-lure -lure adapter. Gently push the contents of one syringe into the other. Repeat this 15 times, pushing all of this new mixture finally into one syringe. Remove the empty syringe and transfer unit. You are now ready to apply this to the site of infection. Depending on the concentration, it takes about 15 to 20 seconds for this substance to jellify. And remember, the foundation of this kit is 35% paloxymer, a substance that is liquid when cold and semi-solid when warm. Because of this, the admixture you're making will go so much easier if everything, including the syringes, needles, and transfer unit, are all cold just prior to mixing. Be sure to check the paloxymer vial to ensure that it's liquid before starting. If the product is getting warm, or you've created a lot of foam, attach the enclosed blue cap to the end of this syringe and place the entire mixture back in the refrigerator until you're ready for it. Additionally, aseptic technique is absolutely imperative in this preparation process. We recommend that this be used within 24 hours of mixing. If you have any questions about this unique extended delivery form, please call one of our specialized pharmacists. Thank you for watching.